But we begin tonight with new developments on the fire that consumed two triple deckers in Fall River yesterday. This was the scene Saturday afternoon. Flames doing a number on one building before leaping to the next. Both destroyed. Three courageous police officers who were first on scene pulled a burned man to safety. And now generous community support for families who have been through the works. Eyewitness News reporter Madeline Wright has been covering this fire since it first broke. She joins us now live in Fall River with the Southeast of Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Madeline. Jared, the people who lived in these homes have to start all over again. It's been a difficult process, but one woman tells me it's been made easier thanks to the community support. It was a fire that quickly changed the lives of 11 adults and two children between two destroyed triple deckers on Irving Street Saturday. Among the victims, Don Barlow. This fire has been devastating to say the least. Um, I have lost every single thing that I have owned. Luckily, Dawn, her son, and her two cats made it out okay, and things are looking up. My landlord, gave, he's given me another apartment. Not only that, total strangers like Monica Martins are coming out of the woodwork to lend assistance. I, I packed everything I could think of, from utensils, the plates, the cups, and I swung by and I'm like, do you, who lives here, who needs anything, and I'm willing to help. Today, Eyewitness News learned three police officers who happened to be nearby heroically rushed into one of the buildings to save a man who had been burned. So much selflessness out of such devastation. I lost so much, but what people are doing for me has brought me sky high. Dawn says people have given her bags of clothes, gift cards, furniture, and have even raised $1,300 online. She hopes she can one day step up to the plate for someone else. Anybody in any devastating tragedy that I see, I will go there. I will do whatever I can for those people because what a difference it makes in someone's life. Dawn says, Dawn says she hopes all the victims are receiving similar support from friends, family, and those they don't even know. Live in Fall River with the Southeastern Massachusetts Mobile Newsroom, Madeline Wright, Eyewitness News.